look like a mess. Good as it right there. I haven't got makeup on today. It's actually a beautiful day. I don't know if you can see out the window. It's a sunny day, which we haven't had in a while. It's been very rainy for about three or four days. There's rain forecast for I think from Wednesday again, but we need the rain, so we don't complain in Africa. We never complain <laughs> if it rains. I'm in bed with my iPad, so I'm going to watch some YouTube videos. I've got a lot of YouTubers that I follow. Maybe I'll link some of their handles below. Maybe you'll enjoy watching them. I'm going to catch up on that. And I started this book last week. The ultimate spiritual way and I think I'm really going to enjoy this. I enjoy the style of writing. Um, I haven't shared really on my YouTube channel my spiritual journey and things that are important to me and where I come from and all of that kind of stuff but this kind of sums up um, a lot of how I feel about the religion that I happen to be born into and although that that forms the foundation of my faith uh, it's really not who I am today so this is the start of a new vlog I thought that I would start it on a Sunday which is when most people start vlogs and then Matilda can start either next week or the week after let me just show you quickly my capsule wardrobe this is my capsule wardrobe I've actually taken it out of my wardrobe and I've just hung it on my rail. I think it works better this way because then I can just see every day what is available to me. But my blog goes live tomorrow where I share a few outfits from this capsule. Hi everyone, it is Monday. I think it's the 6th. I think the days are just all running into each other. I've just finished doing housework. Sorry, I can almost not talk and do this at the same time. But I wanted to tell you about the incident with my cat on, I think it was, was it Friday night or Saturday night? He came into the house, it had been pouring with rain, and he came into the house drenched to the bone. He's a chinchilla, and I could smell something on him, and I said to my husband, he was lying on top of my husband on the bed, and I said to my hubby, I need to um, check Grayson out because he doesn't smell good, and my husband said, my husband doesn't have a good sense of smell. And he said, no, he's fine, he's fine. But every time I came into the bedroom, I could smell this terrible smell. Eventually, I picked him up and he, he hates using a litter box. So we don't even have a litter box for him. And he would obviously tried to dig a hole to um, go to the loo outside. And his paws were muddy and the bottom of his belly was all muddy and his back legs were muddy, obviously from squatting and um, he's under his tail. Now, usually he goes to the groomers every three to four weeks and I don't shave him anymore because they've shaved him completely before. And I know you're not supposed to shave Persians, but we really live in a very hot climate. But I haven't shaved him for about eight months, but they do shave his belly or at least trim his belly and they trim under his tail by his bottom so that if he does go to the loo, it doesn't get stuck there. And we haven't been able to do that and I'm a little bit nervous to do that with him. I don't really um, trim him at all. He hates to be bathed so that's when he gets groomed. He goes and has a bath and they clean him and they blow dry him and do all the nice things. But he, he growls at me and he bites me when I try and do it. I'm not, I don't know if I hurt him. I don't think so. I really don't think so. Anyway, I just said to my husband, I don't care if he's going to be grumpy, we are going to go and bath him now. And my husband held him, did this thing that we've seen 
what groomers do sometimes where they hold them behind the, their necks and my husband did that by the way isn't this telescopic L'Oreal mascara just the dream so my husband held him behind the neck and I washed him and I could feel at the bottom where we usually have him trimmed that there were all these clumps and I couldn't get the poo off him it was like in clumps it tangled with matted fur so I said to my hubby usually what I do is I try and brush him out which he hates but if I find knots on him what I'll do is I'll cut through the knot and then try and thin out the hair towards his skin but he was he was drenched we bathed him he was covered in um, shampoo and I was trying to get him all clean he wasn't having any of it he was grumpy he was hissing he was growling like a real like a little dog and I said to my hubby I'm gonna have to trim the knots underneath his belly so my husband held him very tight and I started trimming and I got about six knots off and then all of a sudden I could just see blood and I had cut through the knot not realizing that I'd actually cut his skin so I feel terrible about this when I was hysterical I just said to my husband I can't believe I've cut him it's almost like if you know you're giving your child a haircut and you cut the ear or something like that um, because he's, our ch he's my child, he's the only one of the six pets that actually belongs to me. Long story short, my daughter and my husband took him to the vet. We're not actually allowed to ride more than one person in the car at the moment. Roxy was holding him, she didn't want to just put him into his little um, carry cage that we usually take if we take him to the groomers. He was quite jittery, so we found the vet and they said they are there, we must just bring him. And my husband couldn't go in, he had to stay in the car, Roxy had to go in alone and then she just had to hand him over to the vet and they continued. He had to stay overnight, he's got quite a long, it's about an inch and a half um, long cut that they sutured up. And now he's not supposed to jump on anything but this cat is not adhering to those rules. So I am... Um, confining him to my bedroom and I actually just had him outside of the bedroom now but I don't want him to go outside into the garden because I'm scared he's going to get all dirty and he's going to dirty the cut and at least for seven to ten days they want us to keep the cut very clean so um, he's confined to my room and he's very grumpy with me so he's managed to push himself under the bed so that is the saga about my cat and he's quite fine now. I was absolutely hysterical. I really wasn't coping with the fact that I had hurt him and I had caused this. Can you see him? He's under my bed. He's not a happy chap. I don't know why he's hiding. I think he just doesn't want to be near me. But he did sleep by me last night, so I shouldn't complain too much. Are any of you making banana bread? My daughter watches a South African YouTuber and is making all these videos about everybody he knows and their mother making banana bread. And I must say that I haven't baked in, in quite a long time. I think if you watched my vlog, um, which was the one just before Matilda's, I had made a banana bread, ended with my banana bread. And I made another one on Saturday. And there's two overripe bananas over there. And I've just decided I'm gonna make some banana flapjacks. I don't know what you call them, little pancakes. But I'm gonna make them tomorrow, breakfast or for, for brunch. We'll just see if my husband brings home more bananas today. So I'm just cleaning some butternuts and I'm going to cut it up and I'm going to freeze it. After showing you Grayson, I went upstairs again and quickly did some photographs for our online store. 
don't really have an online store, we sell on Instagram. We do have a physical little stall at a market. The market was cancelled for April and I'm sure it's going to be cancelled for May as well. So I am taking photos of jackets. I took some photos of uh, winter, winter jackets today because that's what people are beginning to look for. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to post it yet to, to anyone if they do buy. But I do see that other online sellers in South Africa are saying that they will post as soon as um, the crisis is over. My husband makes this ginger and lemon drink every Every third week, it usually lasts me about three weeks. So, what is in the lemon juice? Well, I fill the pot up. That usually comes at the level where it is now. It usually comes to about three liters. Then I cut up uh, six medium to large lemons. lemons in slices. I slice them up, and uh, usually I cut the ginger up. But um, I've tried grating the ginger now. Oh, did you do more, that last night? To get more flavour out of it. And then I mash it up. And you boil hand. it? Yep, I boil it for about 20 minutes. And then we let it seep overnight. And then um, I'm steep. gonna uh, steep <laughs> overnight. And then um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna physically pulp it inside so we get the cells to remain behind and then I just use a tool from the kitchen <laughs> to pick up as much of the pips and uh, the, the ginger that I can. So Johannes washed his hands and now he just with his hands squeezes the rest of the pulp out. Looks a bit gross, but his hands are clean and I trust him. We've got the dustbin next to the counter and Johan just squeezes all of this into the dustbin. I know it looks gross, there must be another more clean way of doing this, but... No, I don't think so. But this works. Unless you want to do this through a sieve, which will take you off the day. We did do it the first time. Yeah, but then you lose a lot of the pulp yes. or the cells. Yeah, they stay behind in the sieve. Yeah. So you end up losing them. So this way you get maximum benefit, I think, from the lemons. So your hand strains a lot of the pips out. And you saw this somewhere on one of the Facebook sites yeah. that you follow. What is it? Is it anti-inflammatory? Well, it's a uh it's like a revitalizing so building shot your with, with, with um, the lemon and the ginger. Yes, so you build your I think your if immunity. you're in a position to really boost this up, if you have access to maybe fresh turmeric, because it's diff very difficult to work with powdered Powder turmeric. Mm. It, it doesn't dissolve, actually it doesn't dissolve, so it's a bit of a struggle. So I usually hold this, what do you call this thing? The funnel yeah. for your hand and he strains it. So I'm sorted for the next three weeks with my little ginger and lemon shots. I wanted to show you the tea that I usually make and what I add to it. So the first thing is just the, I've got a little bit of um, lemon juice left over. So I'll just pour a little bit in each one. I'm going to finish this and then I add apple cider vinegar and really I think you can put a teaspoon or a tablespoon in. I just honestly all I do is just throw a little bit in and then I take the turmeric and I give a little sprinkle. And it's a good anti-inflammatory, which is great for now. 
And then I've got some raw honey. And I'll take a teaspoon of raw honey for each one. And I start and end my day with one of these cups. My daughter also wants one, so I've made her one too. I've come upstairs with my cup of tea, my lemon and ginger and everything else concoction. It is Tuesday the 7th of April. So I thought I'm going to be washing my brushes today. So these are little my little eye brushes. And then I'm also going to be doing, not all of them because I haven't used all of them, but out of here I'm just going to be doing the blush and foundation brushes and bronzer brushes that I've been using over the past two weeks. I use this little tool. It is a garlic grater. I don't know if you can see the texture on that. And this isn't very rough. It's actually quite gentle. So I usually start by doing my foundation brushes. And then I add some olive oil. There isn't much left. There's not much left. I don't know if you can see that, but this is what I use for my brushes. I'm probably going to use the last little bit today. I mostly use this when I'm doing the foundation brushes. So anything that's got to do with oil, that has oil in it. And I saw this on somebody else's YouTube. I didn't know that before. Maybe everybody else knows it. And I'm the only one who doesn't. But it actually really does get the oils out of your brush. And it cleans it much better. So I just mix that with a little bit of... This is just a shower gel. And I usually use a shampoo. So it just depends what you have in the house that is clean. Some people use dishwashing liquid, so it just really doesn't matter as long as it's clean. And then I start with my foundation brushes. I use, I usually just, I wet them. This can be quite messy, but you can see how it gets everything out. So I just give this little garlic crusher, garlic tray, garlic grater, I just give it a rinse with some soap and I let that dry out. And then in my windowsill, I leave my brushes because I don't have a stand for them. So I just leave them here in my windowsill. This is my son's little cat. He doesn't have kneecaps or well, he does have them but they're in the wrong place so when my son rescued him the vet wanted us to have an operation on the cats and it would have cost my son in excess of 20,000 rand this was last year and my son had just started his job and now he's climbing up the wall so let me show you the height of the wall that he's climbing up and he started to jump off the wall and go out of the property it's a cold and miserable day today. So I'm coming outside here and my husband is busy cleaning up his phone. Yeah, it's amazing how during the past, what, 14 days? It's 14 now, around about. It's 14 eh? days today that yeah. we've been in lockdown. And now uh, people have propagated all living on social media I've <laughs> I've now cleaned 1200 pictures and all videos and all memes from my phone and I've just stopped now because uh, Belinda and I are having a chat but we, it just shows you how different we are because my husband takes quite a while before he does this every single night when I go to bed I delete messages, I delete photos and I delete videos. So it feels like I go to bed with a clean slate. And I belong to, um, for the tourism and for Mozambique, I belong to um, a 
lot of um, fishing groups and it's a lot of men so it's a lot of stuff that they send fixing in November because they've got a lot of time on their hands now. <laughs> so fixing lures, cleaning lures, making lures, cleaning reels. Honestly, men are worse than women. If you ever, ever wanted to know, men are a hundred times worse than women on social media. This is my um, lockdown hair. Here comes little madam. Hello, madam. Hey, yeah, my angel. Cookie, cookie. Chocolate cookie, then you a have to Romani ask cream. me. You have to ask me. So, Emma, can I have a Romani cream, please? Romani cream. It's gold! It's gold. Go We're going to go inside yeah. and we'll check in with you a little bit later. There is nothing happening at the moment. We are just trying to keep ourselves busy. It's Friday, the 10th of April and I am getting dressed for a challenge today. So this helps me to keep focused. We are a group of ladies on Instagram who do a challenge every Friday and we take turns in choosing the outfits for the month. But this was the outfit that Linda chose for us today. Matilda and I are taking turns in doing the looks, which is great because we are two people so we don't have to do all of them. And this is look two, and I have all of this in my closet. Ready anymore? No, I can tie it. I'm not ready yeah. anymore. Where do we stop at? Red, green, and black. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm not ready anymore. Okay. What is that? I'm not ready. Like? It sends up. Lamp post. Okay. Is that the last one? Lamp. So my husband and my daughter made these makeshift little trays seedling trays because these were some that we had left over because the nurseries were closed by the time we woke up to the idea that we need to plant winter vegetables one of the things that i use i don't have a composter um, matilda has a composter but what i've always done is i take the i keep the tea the tea bags and i use the tea leaves and i um, sort of work them into the soil. I know it takes a longer time to decompose that way but I'm just going to use some of the tea leaves of this when I plant some of the seedlings. has made us breakfast, French toast, and are we going to get nice things to put in it, Conan? What would you like? Oh, cheese, grated cheese, syrup please, and honey, or, or even honey. Not the healthiest breakfast, but it is already 12 o'clock, so I do intermittent fasting. I don't eat from 6 till 11 usually, so I'm eating a little bit late. That's good. I just want to say thank you to my son for making me a nice breakfast. Yeah. I really do appreciate it. back to the hairdresser again during lockdown well they're not open yeah. <laughs> but maybe you'll never ask me to do it again which is what I'm hoping for hi everyone it's Belinda 
and I'm just ending off this vlog. Um, it's Saturday evening. My daughter and I have bought some face masks. We were going to use them tonight, but we've decided to use them tomorrow because we're both having a pajama day tomorrow. I got up, I put makeup on today, I did a few things around the garden and in the house and today was a productive day, it was a good day. I also went out for the first time since the 21st of March. Today is the 11th of April, so I haven't seen any of the strangeness, the people with their masks, I haven't seen any of that and it was very surreal for me today. I went to get some Easter eggs for my little granddaughter for tomorrow it's Easter Sunday. I also needed to put fuel in my car. Not that I've driven at all over the last three weeks, but I just wanted to have it full and fuel has gone down considerably this month. So it was a good um, time to put fuel in the car. Anyway, I just wanted to end off this vlog by saying thank you for so much for all your support, all your love. We would love for you to just like this video and subscribe. Hit on the bell below for future notifications. Um, Matilda and I are posting twice a week at the moment to give ourselves something extra to do and to give you something extra to watch. So we do hope that you enjoy this and we will see you next time. Bye.